Good morning year two and welcome to today's literacy lesson. So for the next few days we're going to be looking at something a little bit different and we are going to be looking at some kind of forms of poetry. Now we've looked at poetry before and we wrote our poems didn't we before Christmas and those were poems looking at using rhyming couplets. Now because we've already done that we're not going to do that again we're going to look at different kinds of poetry and we're going to start with this week over the next few days we're going to be writing some tongue twisters and some silly poems which i think is going to be really fun okay so first of all tongue twisters so have a little think if you know what a tongue twister is you might not so don't worry if you don't have a little think if you're not sure i'm about to read as a story that i think is going to help you so remember what i'm saying tongue twister look at the picture his tongue's like blah where it's all twisted, okay? So let me share with you this story. So this is a Dr. Seuss story and it's called Fox in Socks. Okay, so let's get going. Fox, socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box, fox in socks. Knocks on fox, in socks, in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box. Fox in socks, on box, on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look sir, look sir, Mr Knox sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks sir. First I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick, clocks on nox tock, six sick bricks tick, six sick chicks tock. Please sir, I don't like this trick sir, my tongue isn't quick or slick sir. I get all those ticks and clocks sir, mixed up with the chicks and tocks sir. I can't do it Mr Fox sir. I'm so sorry Mr Knox sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Who socks? Sue socks. Who sews? Who socks? Sue sews. Sue socks. Who sees who sew? Who's new socks, sir? You see Sue sew. Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews socks of fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews knocks in box now. Sue sews rose on Joe's crow's clothes. Fox sews hose on slow Joe's crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows, nose hose goes some. Crow's Rose grows some. Mr Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey gooey, blue goo, new goo, gluey gluey. Gooey glue for chewy chewing, that's what goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If sir, you sir, choose to chew sir. With the goo goose, chew, chew sir, do sir. Mr Fox sir, I won't do it. I can't say it, I won't chew it. Very well sir, step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes, Ben comes. Bim brings Ben br broom. Ben brings Bim broom. Ben bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Ben's broom. Bim's bends Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks, Bim's bent broom breaks. Ben's band, Bim's band, big bands, pig bands. Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms. 
Bins ban bangs and bims ban booms. Pig ban boom ban big ban broom ban. My poor mouth can't say that. No, sir, my poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well, then bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Boxing socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely got my tongue twisted lots when I was reading you that story. And I was a little bit confused. It seemed really silly what it was saying. And that is an example of a tongue twister. Okay, so let's just go back. I'm going to show you some more. So a tongue twister is when... The sounds are very similar, which makes it really hard to say, okay? It actually makes what we're saying in our, po in our poem a bit hard to understand, which is why it's a great time to do some silly poems, okay? So I'm going to share a couple more with you right now. Oh, so we've read Fox in Socks. So here's another that you may have heard of. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. Did Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled pepper. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper, where's the peck of pickled pepper Peter Piper picked? So that is a really tricky one. I remember that from when I was little, which is why I'm able to kind of say it. But if I were reading that for the first time, it would be really tricky. What sound is it, guys, that you can see that is there throughout this poem? What sound can you see there? Well done if you got the p sound, which is the letter P. There is a lot of in our in the speech when you read this poem which makes it a bit tricky let's look at another one she sells seashells on the seashore the sell the shells that she sells are seashells i'm sure so if she sells seashells on the seashore i'm sure that the shells are seashore shells you might want to pause this video so that you can read these and give them a little go because I actually find it, we, you end up having quite a giggle when you try to read them out loud because you get all your words jumbled up and you get really confused. But it's a lot of fun. Okay, now we're going to look at this one quite carefully because this is what we're going to be using to do our task today, okay? So this poem is called Shop Chat and it's about things that somebody sells in their shop. Okay, so my shop stocks, stocks mean that they have it in their shop to sell. So my shop stocks, locks, chips, chopsticks, watch straps, traps, tops, lipstick and chimney pots. So can you have a little look at this, pause the video if you want, to see this one is a little bit different because it tends to be the end of each word. What sounds do most of these words end in? There's two that I can see. Can you spot them? Okay, so I can see the k sound with the C and the K. I can see it here, here, and here. And the other one that I can see is that it's ending in a p sound. So here on chips, straps, traps, tops. And that's what makes it really tricky because the end of the sounds are very similar locks chips chopsticks watch straps traps tops it makes them a bit of a tongue twister so your task today guys is really fun what you're going to be doing is you are going to be giving this a little go yourself so we're just starting with a really short small poem today okay so this is our poem that we're showing you, so the one that we've just read through. Now we're going to give you guys a task of building your own little poem. I'm going to model it for you here now, and I'm going to help you to gather some of the words. So we thought it would be good if you guys thought of words that end with the t sound and the d sound to then put them together to make a bit of a tongue twister. So some words that end with the t sound that I've thought of, bats. Jets, cats, so as long as they end with t, and then because there's more than one, a plural, you can put an s at the end, but we need the word, the noun, to end with a t. Boots, and then words that end with a d sound. So you guys use this table to gather some words. So beds, hands, sheds, toads, I thought of. So once you've thought of these, 
Now I've prepared this, so it might take you a little while to think of these words. I would try and go with four or five in each, okay? Try and think of four words or five words for each of them to, and double check that they all end in that sound. Yes, they do. So I've done the beginning for you, my shop stocks. So then if this were my poem, I would write bats, bed, oopsie, bats, beds, jets, cats, hands, sheds, boots, and toads. So if I read my poem, my shop stocks, bets, but, oh, I've already got it wrong. It's already twisted my tongue. My shop stocks, bats, beds, jets, cats, hands, sheds, boots, and toads. That is tricky to read, but I think that it makes for a really good poem. Okay, so you guys might want to play about with this. If you're really feeling a big challenge, then feel free to gather different words that end in different sounds and to write me another little poem if you really want to. You don't, oopsie, sorry guys, I've just turned that red. You don't have to, this is all we're looking for, is for you to gather some words ending in t and d and to put together a poem the same as this one. So just copy this. You tend to put two words per line. Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing your first try at a little tongue twister, guys. Um, I'm just looking for something a little bit like this. So really give it a good go. Follow what I've done and I look forward to seeing it. Good luck.